I've got news for you. You will receive far more than what you give. Why will you receive far more than what you give? Because this is a principle, a spiritual, universal principle right here in the fabric of God's creation. And you can't help it. It, it will happen. You give, you receive so much more. Many people know that I started preaching when I was 13 years old. I was a tiny kid, didn't know what I was doing. And then I gave my talks. Thanks be to God, I spoke to a biased group of people who tolerated me. You know, my mom, my dad, my five sisters. <laughs> so, so they were there and they had to listen, right? They were cheering me on. I want you to know that, what was I giving? I was giving something small. My small public speaking talent. Oh my gosh, it was not, you know, sh sh great. I was making all sorts of mistakes. But listen, I just gave it anyway. And look what happened. Just a few years later, I was still a teenager when I was invited to speak in the Araneta Coliseum with thousands upon thousands of people in front of me. I was on that stage and I said, what, what am I doing here? I'm preaching for 30 minutes or, or, or even more, you know? And I was saying, my gosh, I, I was a teenager at that time, 16, I don't know. And, and I said to myself, huh. In our gospel for today, Jesus says, you know, give and it will be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over. What does that mean? You have a container, small container. You give it to God. You know what God does? He, he presses, shakes, pours even more until it runs over and gives back the same container to you. So small container, big container, just give and it's going to come back. And then there's going to be a cycle. You know, what God gives you, give it back. What God gives you, give it back. I'm going to encourage you to do that right now. Are you ready? Before we pray, can I invite parents who have children who are thinking of homeschooling? Um, you're curious about it. You're saying to yourself, you know, maybe it's something for me, for my family. Maybe this is the blessing I've been praying for, for my kids. Why don't you look up at cfahomeschool.com, find out more about it, and maybe in the next school year, you can try. I'm, I'm calling on parents whose kids are, you know, you, you want the best education for them. You want, you want the, the best way by which you can raise them up with your values, etc. Come find out more about it. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for this opportunity that I have. Yes, Lord, I want to give to you whatever resources and talents and time you have given to me. I want to give it back to you, knowing and expecting and claiming in faith that more blessings will come in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, to parents who are curious about homeschooling and thinking that perhaps this is something for you and your children, go to cfahomeschool.com. God bless you. See you tomorrow calling on all parents. If you are interested in homeschooling your child, my friend, almost 20 years ago, I started the Catholic Filipino Academy Homeschool. And since then, we've been able to help thousands of parents homeschool their children and raise them up in the best possible way. Come and join us and unleash your children's potential. Go to this page and find out more about it.